what's up guys how are you doing i hope you're great so welcome to yet another amazing tutorial where i am going to cover digitization today i'm going to show you how you can actually extract features from aerial imagery using quantum gis do you want to extract roads do you want to extract buildings do you want to extract lakes forests i don't know whatever you may want watch this tutorial So here is my quantum JS project. So what you do first is to import the image array or whatever you are going to digitize. So click layer, add layer, add raster layer, and then I select my what? My aerial image. Then I add it and I say close. So as you see this image contains a number of features i can see a road actually there are many roads i can see buildings i can see a pitch so depending on the features in your image or whatever you want to extract you create new shape files so i'm going to first create a new shape file for the roads create layer new shape file layer i'm going to call it roads road and then it's going to be a line yeah the connect system let me leave it in wgs84 and then i say okay and then i can also create another shape file let me say these are settlements let me create another shape file which is called settlements so a new shape file and then the settlements but this time around the settlements are what are polygons so i can add that and then what else is in this image i think uh, let me call this a pitch layer create new layer and then we call it a pitch it is a polygon and i say okay so for the start we can take uh, those three shape files so what you do is that you click on let me start by digitizing roads you click on roads and then you toggle editing and then you start what start editing so my first road is here come like this this is my road and then i'll make it stop there that is my first road so i'll add another road is here yeah so actually I can save so far I've added two roads as you can see I'm going to change the appearance I right click properties and then I come to symbology then it is a simple line I'm going to first increase its width so the width is let me make it one yeah let me change the color to red yes and I think uh, that is fine yeah then i save and the next thing is i'm going to start creating settlements so i click settlements i start editing yeah so you can even zoom in
So, uh, this looks like a school. So, I'm going to create a new shape file and then I call it school. So, I come to layer, create new shape file layer, and then I call it school. So, the school is going to be a polygon, and then I say, okay. And I click here. Edit. And I add the school. This looks like a school. So, I'm going to add it as a school. Yeah, that looks like a school. And actually, I saw something that looks like a school here, so I'm going to call this a school. So this looks like a school. Yeah, that looks like a school. So yeah. I think I can save that and then I want to add these fields into my map so I'm going to add some of these fields into my map and then you'll see how it will look like So, I have finished my digitization, but I want to make it a little bit look nice. So, what I do, uh, as you can see, I've tried to make a lot of generalization, but try to make something that is better than mine. Yeah. So, I will remove this. And then, remember, this which I call pitch, let me rename it to fields. And then let me rename it to fields. Fields. And then I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it something like green. Where is green? Let me see. Let me try to look for green. Yeah, something like that. So. I'm going to, so where there is a school, I'm going to change the color of the school, I'm going to make it something like this, this, this is a school, so at the settlements, I'm also going to change the, let me try to use a custom property, let me use this, let me see, yeah, I think that is fine, yeah, I think that looks fine, so today I'm going to stop here, but make sure I watch the next tutorial which is going to show you how you can make a map out of this. Thank you.